Hey everyone, Ari Mapo here, and today we're gonna show you how to get started with booting off of the NVMe flash drive on an Orange Pi 5. This is very similar to the tutorial we looked at with the Raspberry Pi 5 hat, but instead this is all in one single package. You don't have to buy anything extra. All you need is your NVMe SSD drive. So grab your NVMe SSD drive, grab your Orange Pi 5, get everything up and running, and let's get started. Now, if you recall in another tutorial we did with the Raspberry Pi 5, we had this little hat over here that sits on top of the Raspberry Pi 5, and this has uh, an extension board that we had to purchase separately. With the Orange Pi 5, the NVMe port is directly on the board itself, which is really, really nice. I love that. And we can just get up and running. And what we talked about in the other tutorial, similarly with the Orange Pi 5, is that you're gonna get better longevity, uh, better lifetime, and faster write and read speeds, which means faster OS boot time, faster operation time, running off of an NVMe SSD versus a micro SD card. One thing that I really struggled with with micro SD cards is after inserting and taking them out, putting them back in and taking them out, you, you, you degrade the life of the micro SD card itself so it starts to run slower. Also reading and writing, flashing it many, many, many times as well degrades the lifetime of the micro SD card. So NVMe drives have really come down in price. This guy over here cost me less than 40 bucks. Uh, it was really cheap, half a terabyte. You really can't beat that. So I think you're going to find a massive improvement in terms of performance and, uh, and really the investment is pretty low. So hopefully you will be able to follow the tutorial pretty easily and you'll be up and running with your NVMe SSD drive. So luckily there really isn't much in terms of the hardware setup of the Orange Pi itself and the NVMe SSD drive. If you see, I have standoffs that I put on my board. These are not part of the NVMe drive. These are sold separately. Um, this just gives me a little bit more flexibility in terms of where I can place it. I don't need to keep it on an ESD mat. I'm not, don't need to be worried about the electronics, things like that. So, um, it also allows me to, you know, take, put in connectors, things like that, give it its own space to stand off on the, really the only thing that we need to do over here is just this little tiny screw for inserting the SSD drive. This, I love, absolutely love this feature about the Orange Pi 5, uh, it's it, the fact that it has a baked in NVMe port is super, super cool. So if you see over here, we have the NVMe port. If you notice, I'm coming in at an angle right over here, and then I insert that, make sure the gold fingers are no longer visible, put the screw down right here. So you have to hold it in place, otherwise it kind of jumps up a little bit. Put the screw down, screw it down, and that's really it. So if you see, I'm just screwing it down right now. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. So we start off with the micro SD card in the port. And by the time we're done and we flashed everything, we will be taking the micro SD card out. So that's an important distinction. Other than that, that's really all there is to it. So if you are familiar with the getting started tutorial with the Orange Pi 5 that I did, we are using this Ubuntu Rock chip port, uh, this operating system that's running on the Ubuntu uh, based uh, operating system running on the Orange Pi 5. And this is a community led, actually this individual over here, he uh, is ported this over and maintains this repository over here. There's also Armbian, and then there's the official Orange Pi OS as well. There are many others. But with each one of these different flavors, they each have their own tool in order to basically flash your operating system onto an NVMe. It's not like the most trivial process, but they've created scripts to make it very, very easy. So I just wanna very quickly run through that in this particular project. So again, with the Orange Pi, you would have a, a command called Orange Pi config with RBN, I believe it's RBN config. In this particular repository, we have under the wiki, you can go here, and since we're using Ubuntu 24.04, I'm going to go to that uh, documentation. And then if you go down to install uBoot to the spy flash, actually, we're going to jump first to the install NVMe from Linux. So what we're doing is we are copying the currently running operating system that's on our micro SD card onto the NVMe drive. However, 
However, in order to boot from the NVMe drive, what you need to do is you need to flash the spy, the spy flash with U-boot. So <clears throat> you're basically giving instructions. So the default right now is that the Orange Pi and most of these devices, their default is to first flat, like read the micro SD card and then boot from the micro SD card. They're not thinking about booting over a network or booting over NVMe or booting over USB. So what you need to do with the Orange Pi is you need to install a booting mechanism, which in this case is U-boot, onto the Spy Flash. And that, I believe, is around 16 megabytes or so. So we are going to flash that first, and then we're going to install, we're going to basically mirror what's on the micro SD card onto the NVMe drive itself. So there are really only two commands. I've already got my SSH here. Uh, I'm SSH'd into my Orange Pi right now. So first of all, you can do an LSBLK, and this will tell you all of the different mounts that are on your device right now. So if you can see over here, I have my micro SD card, the MMC. Uh, that is where my root of my drive is. So ls.l. So this is all on my micro SD card, as you can see over here. That's, that's where my operating system is running right now. <clears throat> and this is uh, 256 gigabytes micro SD card. Then I also have my NVMe drive, which is over here. That is plugged in right now. It could be empty. It could be full. Um, doesn't matter what it is, but it's, it's plugged in. And then you also have the MTD block zero. So the MTD is a 16 megabyte spy flash. It's a flash chip that you talk to it over spy. Uh, you're familiar, if you're familiar with this, we use this all the time with FPGAs, booting up, um, loading stuff into memory, and then, um, and then running the code instead of having to flash a bit file every time. So we do this also in micro microcontrollers, microprocessors, and processors themselves as well. So we have all these different devices and all these different memory structures, and we are going to now flash the the NVMe drive and the the spy flash with the U-boot. So first, what we want to do is we want to do U-boot install MTD. So let's go back here for a second. So install U-boot to the spy flash. So first we want to run this command. So sudo, uh, sudo U-boot install MTD. As you can see, I already have in my history, I've done this uh, once already. So I'm going to run that again. It's going to request your password. So, okay. So it just flashed my spy. And then I am going to run the other command, as you can see over here. And then I paste that in here. This command takes about five minutes or so. So give that a little bit of time. And then what you want to do is after you run this, so I'll just go ahead and run it. So it says this script will install a currently running system. So what you have running right now on your micro SD card, uh, we're going to now install that on this path. So also one distinction. So LSBLK, if you noticed, I use the NVMe 0 N1. Uh, that is the path that we're using, dev NVMe 01. If for some reason your NVMe shows up as NVMe 1 or NVMe 5 or whatever it is, just pay attention to that. But usually it'll be NVMe 0. So again, we run that command, and then we would say yes, and then it goes through the process. It takes about five minutes to, uh, to flash a uh, half a terabyte NVMe SSD drive. After that, we power down the device. We remove the micro SD card, turn it back on, give it about a minute, and uh, you should be up and running. It'll be running the exact identical mirrored copy of what you had on your micro SD card, and then you can put your micro SD card away. You never have to deal with it again. So today we looked at setting up an NVMe drive on the Orange Pi 5 and booting it from the NVMe drive itself. No more micro SD card whatsoever. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the rest of the videos in this channel. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of them and definitely hit that like button. Thanks for watching.